Hi, I'm Housewife Ginger J. Um, this is my first vlog, so bear with me. Um, this video is just going to be um, kind of a, an introductory video, as you will. Um, kind of to talk about why I'm doing what I'm doing and how I got here. So, um, so yeah, so I'm Housewife Ginger J. I'm a... Um, I'm a newcomer to many vids. Um, I'm a housewife. I'm a stay-at-home mom to a three-year-old who is this crazy, rambunctious, sassy girl. She's my... she's me. Um, I am a DIYer, and I'm an entrepreneur of sorts. Um, vlogging being potentially another entrepreneurial thing I'm doing. Anyways, so, um, yeah. Uh, so let's see, where to begin? Well, I mean, if you'd have told me 10 years ago that I would be a many vids model, I probably would have told you to shut the fuck up because I would have not believed you. Um, I was actually very opinionated when it came to strippers and porn and... Um, just anything that women did to sell their bodies uh, or to make money. Not necessarily selling their bodies, but just using their assets to make money. I frowned upon it. And it was because of my history. It was because I, my first boyfriend, my teenage years, um, was heavily addicted to porn. And because of that, I mean, I didn't even realize how bad it was. I mean, I wasn't living with him for a while, but when I'd come over... And I would be frisky, he would not be able to perform because by the time I came over in the afternoon, he'd jerked off like five to seven times to porn. And so he just couldn't perform. And I remember thinking it was pretty fucked up, but I mean, I didn't think much of it until I moved in with him. And that was when I really got the extent of how bad his problem was. And I mean, it would be, we would be able to have sex and then five minutes later he'd be jerking to some pictures or to porn and it was heartbreaking for me. I took it personally. I took it that I wasn't enough that I mean I had an eating disorder because I thought maybe he wanted me to be skinnier because of what I saw he was jerking off to. It looked like teenage girls. Um, so yeah I was very hurt and very very opinionated to that industry just because of my um, experience with that. Don't mind me drinking my coffee at 2 o'clock p.m. Anyway, so um, from there, finally that toxic relationship um, ended in my early 20s. And uh, But I did end up dating another guy who was kind of similar. Not necessarily addicted to porn, but more of a womanizer. And uh, so again... I was in a relationship that I didn't, I was just jealous of sexy women. A woman would walk by and instead of me appreciating the beauty of her, I'd be thinking about how my boyfriend is probably wishing he was with her or um, I didn't want to leave him alone in his room because I was like, the second I leave him alone, he's going to jerk off to porn because what else do men do? Because that's all I knew my men did. Um, so yeah, it, it really, I mean, I was... I was a bitch when it came to talking about strip clubs and my closed minded or ignorant opinions to that was just ridiculous. When I look at who I am now versus who I was then, it's just, it's night and day. I'm like not the same person. And you know, what's weird is I'm starting to realize too, is that old person of me fits more with my family than I do now. I'm like the black sheep. Uh, hence, me doing many vids and stuff, I've got to be on the lowdown, because I don't, not that I'm ashamed of it, not at all, but until it really starts to pan out to be a pretty good career choice, um, I just don't think I need to discuss it with them, and when the time comes, it'll be interesting how that goes. Um, so, then I'm 25, and I meet my new boyfriend, who is now my husband, and he brought to me, oh man, just so much... He just enlightened me to the fact that, oh my gosh, I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm, he's 
he would compliment me. He was loyal to me. He he just really opened my eyes to the fact that I was really too judgmental towards something that I mean, I even avoided shows and movies that had nudity in them because I didn't want to make my exes believe it was okay. I even stopped watching Game of Thrones. I'm addicted to Game of Thrones, okay, now? But I even prevented myself from watching an amazing show like Game of Thrones because of that shit. That's how fucked up it was. Anyways, um, so I meet my boyfriend, or my now husband, and, you know, just started to really get more open-minded to it. I mean, I even would catch myself looking at a woman being like, isn't she sexy? And he'd be like, yeah, you know, and... I mean, it was just so cool that I was just was starting to become more open to the appreciation of the beauty out there that is not me, you know, it's beyond me, you know, um, and I'm not so competitive towards it. Like, I mean, I, I strive to look good. I eat healthy and I work out. Um, I dance, I do things, but I know genetics plays a role and I know that I'm just, there's things I'm just not going to look, I'm, I'm five foot three. I'm never going to be that six-foot woman with long legs that go on for miles and can wear those wonderful he heels that I'm just, I'm never going to be that woman. But it, I, I can appreciate it on another woman and I can compliment her on it if I want to. Um, so then 27, 28 rolls around and we were financially kind of tight. And so we decided to try something outside the box. Um, I think I brought it up actually just for some extra cash. I was like, how about we try some internet modeling? How about we try some camming? And uh, he was down. So we tried it for a couple of weeks and I really did not like it. <laughs> I didn't like the live aspect of it. I didn't like being watched. Like it just messed with my brain. And it was all sex, sex, sex. And we were part of a, a free site. So it was mainly, it was all tips that you were hoping for. And unfortunately, people just weren't, you know, way into tipping. So, I mean, we would be on camera fucking, doing anything, blowjobs, going down, fuck, fuck, fuck. And would make $8 in a three-hour period. It was really disheartening, actually, because I felt like I was just kind of giving myself away. People were seeing parts of me and things that I was doing that even I've not really seen. So I was kind of frustrated, and about two weeks in, I was just like, you know what, this is just not what I wanted. This is just not, not, a, n n no. So uh, we did, we, we, we stopped, because I just told him, I'm like, I'm just unhappy with it. I'm, it's even negatively affecting our sex lives, because anytime we we're gonna do anything, we would pop it on the camera and try to make a few bucks and it just didn't happen. Um, so then we get married, we have our kid, and now here we are. Um, I don't think I realized to what extent my husband had fun with, with camming. He loved it. I didn't know that. I merrily thought it was just to try to make some extra bucks and when it didn't really pan out, but apparently for the last three years, he's just like thinking about it and looking at some of our old footage and pictures. And he's like, I really enjoyed that. So he approached me about a month ago and was like, would you be interested in doing the camming thing? Maybe a little bit, you know, more. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm just not. It's just not my thing. I'm just not an actress. I'm just not able to relax enough to enjoy having sex. While I know there's eyes watching, while there's people critiquing everything. I mean, majority, majority of the people were super nice, their comments, and, um, but some of them weren't so nice, and it was hard not to let that get to you. So then a couple of weeks after that, he was like, well, since you said you don't want to do the live stuff, what about videos and pictures? He's like, babe, you're super sexy. You're, you're 31 years old. You're a mom you need to show your shit off. He's like, and I really do think a lot of people would enjoy your spunky personality and, and what you represent, you know. He's like, you need to just like, we need to get you out there some way. And um, so he told me kind of the ins and outs of certain sites and what you do. And, and he's like, I'll help you with marketing. And, you know, you just need to be you, you know. He's like, if people don't like who you are, then fuck them. 
He's like, but there's going to be, he's like, I see you and I, I love you. And I think a lot of other people would appreciate you. So uh, I was like, you know what? Fine. If this is, you know, we've been kind of having, uh, ever since having Ari, we've been just kind of having a little bit of a yeah, three-year lull of sex. It's just my libido. It's weird. I was the one who always wanted sex. And then it's just so weird how it's just gone. The libido has just gone out the window and I don't know, I don't even understand it myself. I try to explain to him, I, I just, it's just, it's just not there. And it's, when it is there, it's just like a small part of the day. And it's like weird. It's like at 2 PM when he's at work, I'm like, babe, I'm, I'm super horny. And he's all like, yeah, he comes home from work and he's like, let's do it. And I'm just like, uh, you know, I just don't, I, I need to make lunch or dinner and you know, Ari's kind of been in a pissy mood now, so, you know, how about we do it tomorrow? And it's just, it just goes on and on. <laughs> it's just this weird, like, 2 to 3.30 p.m. where I'm, like, kind of horny, and then it's, like, gone. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, I digress. Um, so, I was like, yeah, let's try it out. If this helps our sex life, great. If we make a few bucks, great. Um, it doesn't sound like we have much to lose. And so, he... We yeah, kind of started working as a team unit to to do the many videos. We, we figured out from some searching and stuff, we figured out that that was probably our best choice for putting our content out there. And the rest is kind of history. We've just been um, posting and he's my photographer, my videographer um, and somewhat marketer. He's the brains of the technology. I am not. I'm barely, I'm just the body <laughs> and the personality. Um, but I feel like we work as a good team. And um, I just, you know, I've watched some vlogs from models. Um, I, and I've watched some mini vids models talk and it's really inspiring to see how good some of these girls are doing and they're super sweet and some of them are so helpful. You know, I've even reached out to some of them and have gotten great feedback and the community is amazing. Um, I, I might try to take, uh, it, you know, my, uh, I'm exploring myself. I'm trying to figure out what kind of content I want to have. And, um, I think I'm going to be kind of going a different direction. Um, I mean, I'm a housewife. I mean, that right there. I mean, I think many of the many of its models are kind of younger. Um, I even know some of them portray to be younger than they really are because majority of clients want to have a younger model. And I get that. I mean, I wish I was still in my 21, 22 body, except that I do think that I'm, I actually think I look better now than I did then. Um, but the point I'm making is, you know, I'm going to go the direction of I'm the housewife because that is what I am. I'm opinionated. I have, ex I have experience. I, I have, ha have a fucking child that has changed me. And I do think it's changed me for the good. It has opened my eyes. The wisdom that I have now after having a child is just mind boggling from life experience. The experience of life is not something to lie about. I don't want to portray that dumb blonde or, you know, cause I, I've been told I look younger than I am, which is great, but I'm not going to say that I am because that takes away from the wisdom that I've gained. That takes away from the life experiences. And, uh, I want to go off of that. You know, I, I'm a DIYer. I, I make a lot of shit. I make our detergent. I make our soap. I, I, um, I'm, I'm, I have a business that I sew and I, I'm trying to help our environment through making, reusable produce bags. When you go grocery shopping, instead of putting your produce in plastic bags, you put them in these reusable produce bags. They weigh nothing. And so it prevents waste. I make reusable sna snack bags and sandwich bags. You know, I'm trying to start being, you know, more environmentally um, knowledgeable. I'm seeing what's happening to our environment and I'm kind of sad by it. I take Ari on a walk and I see trash everywhere. And it's so sad. So that's partly what my mission is, is to encourage women of all ages to 
be confident and to just be yourself and um, and to encourage other women. I mean, God damn, we're mean to each other. We are so mean to each other. And believe me, there's going to be more vlogs about that shit, especially when we're pregnant. I digress. Um, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is I, I really want to encourage women to be nicer to each other, to be less judgmental and just be open and honest and appreciate the knowledge you gain from people from different backgrounds. You know, we all have our experiences. Instead of judging someone because of theirs, maybe we learn from it and realize like, hey, someone has lived a whole different life than I have. Crazy, right? Um, but also I, I, I want to encourage people to, you know, maybe, maybe if I sell some of my products through, um, uh, many vids and social media, I'm, I'm hoping to sell some of them. Every product I sell that encourages someone to, to go the, the less waste direction, I feel like I'm making a difference. Even if it's just minute, I'm making a difference. I want to make a difference in the world and whether it be through my crafts and um, going waste free or whether it be I get, you know, some woman to reach out to me and say, you've inspired me. Thank you for, you know, thank you for inspiring me to go outside the box to maybe explore something I really didn't think I, I was open to exploring. Um, I, I'm every day there's things that I'm realizing I still have so much to learn. And having a child, I mean, Ari, she'll throw shit back at me. She's three. She's a freaking three-nager. And she will show, she is such a great mirror because sometimes she shows me just certain things that I'm like, wow, I really didn't sound nice. Or, you know, I'm really working on myself. And uh, me and my husband are really working on our relationship because we want to be strong and we want to work. And part of that is, you know, compromising. And I'm really glad I listened to him when it came to this new direction our relationship is going. Because so far it's been quite amazing. I mean, we've been, we've done two and a half weeks now of many vids and pictures. And we've done some photo shoots for people. And I mean, it's the compliments, the, I mean, all of it. I mean, even the people... I've reached out to who are many vid, um, many vid models and stuff have been so nice and helpful. It's just a beautiful community and I'm excited to see the direction we go. But, um, like I said, stay tuned. I, I think we're going to go not the typical direction, um, but a little bit more, well, just, you'll just have to stay tuned because honestly we're kind of figuring it out. I'm, I'm figuring it out as I go. And, uh, like I said, I just, I know it's going to go a different direction. I just, I really just want to help people. I just want to, I want to open people's eyes, especially if they're younger. Cause I was there. I was so close minded when I was young and ignorant and it's just, it's, it's hard not to be angry at myself for being like that, but it's understandable. I mean, I grew up in kind of a sheltered upbringing and so it and from some of the things I experienced young it kind of really penetrated deep it took quite a while for me to realize that my insecurities were what was making that my unhappiness was making me so judgmental you need to love yourself you need to be confident you need to realize that your story is different than anyone else's and vice versa and so instead of judging, just appreciate and love and, you know, have fun. I mean, we only, we do only live one life, so why not have fun with it? So, uh, so yeah, so sit, stay tuned and, um, you know, give a shout out, check out my many vids, you know, page, housewife, Ginger J. Um, I'm also active on Twitter and um, Reddit have an Instagram. So yeah, like going all out there. So come follow me and yeah, see what direction this takes. All right. Well, bye.